All right, we're in the final stretch of this build, and the next thing we're going to build, of course, is the Atori pack itself. So right now we're looking at the main system here. Some parts I did a little bit more detail because I felt like it needed more work. Like for example, these parts here. I decided to paint these little hydraulics, so um, metallic uh, gray. Give it a little bit more color depth to it. So we're going to first take this part here. I'm going to separate them. Because I'll need this to go here. Followed by this. And go like that. And then we have this part here. It goes like this. Didn't like how this came out. I may have to re spray paint that later on. There's a lot of parts that I need to respray paint. Uh, there's this little red trim part here that goes like one goes here and the other one goes like that. I'm gonna, there's some vents here that I think I'm going to have to remove. Yeah, I'm going to remove them later on and I'm going to paint those. Let's give it a darker shade. Maybe when I... Okay, I know you guys are probably wondering what happened to the uh, th uh, panel lining. I'll probably remove that and panel line these parts as well at the inside. And of course here in the middle and all that nice stuff. So, that's done. This one, I'm going to pop open. And I will need this one first. These parts here. Uh, this one had a poly cap, which I put in just so I can get out of the way. And as I'm looking at this, this thing should go right around. Should go over here, like that. It's a little three, three by two notch here, so. One goes like that, one goes like that. Then I take this and slide it in over here. I take this part, flip it like that. There's two holes here, so. Both of them will go there. Mm -hmm. Where is my tool? I think that's it, but I... Don't know how well it's going to go down. Whoops. Alright. Alright, so with that there, I take these two parts, one here, it goes in like so. Is that how it looks? Yeah, plus it's in an angle. So the other one goes there. There we go. Snaps into place. Then we cover this up like this. I think I may need this guy again. Yeah, it did go in through. 
But of course, if I would have known about this part here, maybe I would have looked at the uh, notches and not and not uh, paint it. But all right, so that's this part is done. And we have this part here, which I'll pop open like so. And supposedly, this goes in like this. This part here supposedly has to be black, but I said, you know what? Really? I don't need to. Don't, I don't think it needs to. So, then I take this. Put it in like that. Close it up like this. And then take this. like that. Alright. Then these two. One goes here. Actually, wait, you know what? I think one is different than the other. Yeah, because one's... Yeah, okay, I got it right the first time. Right, because there's a notch there, I didn't realize that. So it's like, you can't switch from one to the other. It's either all or none. Alright, there we go. Now, these are, are the umbilical type setups, which... I had to be very careful when I was doing this, because I didn't realize that... Um, some of them are a little off here and there. Okay, so that one goes there. That one goes here I think it went through no it didn't because it's still see now I'm, I'm afraid there we go and then this one goes here Um, did I do something stupid? Yes, I did. That does not go there. This goes here. I'm supposed to bring it down. I see what I did wrong. There we go. So it looks like that. And then this one goes right through here. But I think I might have to close this a little bit more. There we go. I knew what I did wrong. Hang on a second. Alright, I did it wrong because there's a notch there that has to go here. So I made a mistake on that. I'd have corrected uh, again. So, fortunately it was no loss. But I, I was a bit worried. I said, hold on, you know, let me do this proper right. So that one goes back there. And this one goes back here. Alright. So this part is done, but we're not done yet. Continue on with the Otori build. We have the wings now. And uh, all of them are, as you can see, are pretty much painted and ready to go. First thing we need to do is open this guy up. Like so. Then we take this, take this part here and put it in like so. So it looks like that. And then carefully feed this in here until it goes nice and through. And then bring this around here to close it up. Now, 
I was going to show this on camera, putting on the red trim on this, but I decided to give it a little bit more detail like I did with the um, some parts of the previous, uh, the, you know, what I showed you before. And as you can see, I spray painted some chrome here, give it a little thruster look to it, more detail. So, I go like this. So it looks like that. Just trying to make sure I'm, I'm looking at the correct orientation. So this part is done. Let me take this part. Um, I'm putting this one here, but in the manual, or in the, um, yeah, in the manual, these parts here are red. And I was going to do it, but I think I'm going to not do it because there's this part I have to need to repaint again. And then I'm just going to, you know, detail the inside of the thrusters. But this one came out really nice, as you can see there. And then you snap it into here. So then it goes nice and through. There we go. Now the fun starts. The wings. I also spray painted here, but I didn't spray paint here. So again, pat, um, probably do a wash there. And then just close this up like this. Maybe I'm not a good idea to close that up because I want to put this one on. So maybe I should pop this out and hopefully I don't scratch this. That will go like so. Then bring it down, like so. See? Put that here. Like that. To put, before I put on the missiles, I want to put this one on first. Remember, the section of the missiles and the fuel tanks go on the bottom, not on top. So that one goes there. This one goes here. I'll bring it about. And then carefully, don't don't push it too hard. Well, maybe you want to, but just a little bit just to get it in there. One of them is broken, so I had to be very careful. It goes in. And hopefully it doesn't come out or break off. If it does, I have to glue it in. Technically speaking, they're never supposed to come off. So, there we go. And that's pretty much it. The uh, wing section of the Yatori is now complete. But not complete just yet. Put this part here. Then this part. And uh, there we go. Now, even though this looks cool, we're still not done yet. I'm going to put this here. Need this. 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 Actually, no, not this. That goes there, and this goes here. And now this one goes here. Followed by this top part here. Actually, pull the manual to the side. I think I tend to read it. Uh, oh yeah, you know I do need that. So this one goes, it's this one in the back goes in here, like this, and then this one goes, uh, yeah, like that. And supposedly, slide that there, like this. Then we have the weaponry, like this part here, I need, I believe I need this one, but I think there's another one here, 
Actually, they're both the same. Yeah. So one goes here. And for this weapon, this railgun, I painted these parts here and here, and I give it a little detail there. So... Oh, I'll put that in a minute. For this one, put this part here, which I did detail up. So it looks like that. goes there. And then that one goes like that. And then you have the these parts that I've also detailed up as you can see. And according to this, the, let's see here. Oh, okay. This goes like this. And then this goes like this. And then we take this part here. Like that. <laughs> wow, that's pretty awesome. Again, we're still not done. The, the super sword. Guess we need the hilt. Followed by this part here that goes like that. Whoops, no, I did it right. Goes like that. And then we have this. Goes like this. Goes all the way through. Like so. And then this one goes like this. In here. And then this trim part here. There we go. And then, of course, it attach to this. I believe so. There we go. Actually, no. Sorry, goes like that. All right. Okay. What do you guys think of that? Pretty amazing, huh? Jesus. This is almost a kid in its own. All right. Now that we're completed this, stay tuned for my final assembly of the Master Grade Gundam Strike, Strike Gundam Otori Custom.